How to write a variable to file with Ansible? From a simple value or the result of a complex command execution on the target node, often we have to, the need to write the result to a file. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. The copy and template Ansible module have the ability to write variable to a file. Long story short, use the template module instead of the copy module. Both module write a variable to a file, but the template module is the safer way for advanced formatting or if content contain a variable. Preferred by the early adapter or Ansible, the copy module that deals with white space and new line, but perform poor with quotes and escape content. On the other hand, the template module requires extra effort to print a value. The main advantage to use the Ansible copy module to write variable to a file is that you could write all in one Ansible playbook file. In this example, the parameter content specifies the name of the fruit variable to be written to the dest parameter, the path of the destination file. And that's it. On the other end, the Ansible module template is the best option to write variable to a file if you have uh, another variable or some advanced formatting. Unfortunately, this module doesn't have any content parameter so you need to create a secondary file, the template one, to output the fruit variable. As you could see in this ex simple example, the writing to file process is started by the main Ansible playbook file that trigger the myTemplate.j2, the Jinja2 template that only output the content of the fruit variable. Yes, you can perform some filter and all this sort of modification. The result is written to the dest, the destination file defined in the Ansible playbook. Demo time. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook to write variable to a file with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to write a simple fruit variable using the Ansible module copy and the module template. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one little demo of module copy to write variable to file. So first of all, let's begin our play with the same name copy module demo that is target host all of my inventory. Let me define two variables. First uh, is a variable that I would like to print, uh, fruit uh, and banana, and the output, uh, let's define output.txt. You can customize whatever file you wanted. On the task, only one name fright to file, pretty explicative, and then uh, using Ansible module ansible.builtin.copy Let's define content var parameter will be the value of fruit variable and the destination will be the value of output. And here we are. We are able to write our variable banana to the output file output.txt few line of code. As well we could uh, Complicate a little bit, the variable could be the output of a previous uh, module or command. 
Now let's have fun with a template module. So let's start a new Ansible playbook and let's define a new play named template module demo. Same as before, target host all of my inventory. Two variables, first is for it. This time it's going to be apple and the output will be the same, output.txt. You can customize this variable as much as you want it. Only one task name write to file. This time I'm going to use ansible.builtin.template module. Two parameters, the first is src, the template file, in my case my template.j2 and destination will be the name of the output, in this case uh, value of output variable. Here we are, we are able to write uh, the value of for it, apple to the output file output.txt. You can customize as much as you want it and now you are probably curious to see how my template looks like. Well, the template file is just an empty file in my editor that has the value of fruit. This is a Jinja, um, Jinja syntax and the file is located under templates directory. Let the fun begin. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine with SSH DevOps as username. As you can see, the home directory is pretty empty, except the normal bash file. So, rock and roll. Let's start with ansible-playbook. Let me define my inventory file. It's only the IP address of the machine. And then uh, let's begin with a copy module. Playbook uh, name is write file copy. We create one change status, which means some operation were performed to the target machine. If we run again, we got OK status, which means no further operation performed. Uh, so this time, let's log, log in again to the demo machine and there is output.txt with banana inside! Cool! Yay! So the copy module works. And what about the template module? Well, same as before. Ansible-playbook, let's use my inventory file and then let's run together the playbook to run the template module. Playbook write file template, change status again. And what happens if we run again? We are expecting hidden potency and we got it with OK status again. So this time I'm able to connect again to my demo machine ssh devops at demo.example.com. So the file output txt was overwritten with apple. Yay! So both modules work it out and we got we are able to print the value of a variable inside a, a file. Good job Ansible. Bear in mind that I have some limitation as we discussed before and always prefer the template module when you need to do advanced uh, print it out. Only for printing text they have the same result, but if uh, you need some more complex uh, chart set or uh, escape, uh, prefer the template. Now you know how to write a variable to a file with Ansible using the copy and the template uh, module. We saw both the approach and we could uh, compare each other. So I hope that now is more clear when to use the copy module and when it's better to use the template one.
Thank you for watching this lesson and see us on the next one. Have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.